Now, when you eat these raw foods or these high volume foods like beans and green vegetables and fresh fruits, they're very low in calories. Most of these foods are less than 50 calories a pound, between 50 and 100 calories a pound. How many pounds can you eat at one meal? What do you mean, 10 pounds? You can't even get enough. If you actually lived, if you were Tarzan living with the gorillas in the, in the jungles of the Congo or something, and I've seen those movies, Tarzan's really muscular and looks really fit, but if really living with the gorillas, he'd probably be too thin. He'd be like a stick because the food, the, those greens are only like 50 calories a pound. The human stomach can't hold that much food. He wouldn't get enough calories in eating all the greens with the gorillas. He must be cheating on that diet. <laughs> because you can't become overweight. You can't even maintain your weight. These foods are so, there's so much volume, they occupy space in the stomach. The more you eat of these foods, it makes it hard to put many calories into the stomach at one time. The human stomach only holds a liter of food. You can put 400 calories in of oil, which already takes up no room. You can fit 4,000 calories in of chicken, but you can't fit more than 400 calories in of vegetables at one time. And if you're swinging from those trees with the gorillas all day, you've got to be burning about 3,000 calories. And I finally figured it out with years of scientific study and contemplation that Skipper never really lived on that island. <laughs> This is called crowding out, crowding out. The more you have a salad before you, you have a big salad and vegetable bean soup, it's very hard not to lose weight because you can't have much room in the stomach. You're full with the salad and vegetable bean soup and the apple you had and because all that fiber shuts off your apostat because your apostat is controlled by calories and fiber and micronutrients and water content, right? And those, and you have to eat and this, your appetite shut off. It's very hard to become overweight. It's impossible to become overweight eating natural foods. No early, you know, very, very rare you see overweight animals in the jungles or the woods, unless they're, you know, I, in New York City you see our overweight squirrels because they're feeding like french fries and stuff, you know, but, but not in the woods. So you have to fill up on nutrient-rich foods because it, it activates the stretch receptors and the nutrient receptors there send to your brain, tell you to stop eating because you have a very controlled apostat and that apostat is controlled by the bulk of the food and when you eat foods with no bulk, like sugar and honey and, and oil, it doesn't get turned off. 